Lorenzo. Hi, this is Marty with West Palm Dog and I'm here with Lorenzo. This is our second video in which we talk about how to handle a dog that is barking on lunging around other, other dogs, particularly as is true for Lorenzo, a very social dog. He's not afraid of the other dogs. He simply wants to greet them. And those greetings are no longer appropriate for a puppy his age. He's 10 months old. As soon as a puppy is about six months old or so, we want to stop um, interacting with them uh, on the street in general and start to work more on interactions with you while other dogs are present. Um, I'm going to use, I have some string cheese and I'm going to make sure that I have something more interesting than other dogs with me when we're doing this work. Um, when I'm practicing, I want to try to pick dogs that are not reactive. So dogs that will not um, either bark and lunge at Lorenzo um, and or be overtly uh, puppy friendly toward him. I'd like for dogs to behave neutrally. I want to make sure that I'm at a sufficient distance that Lorenzo can manage. It might be 10 feet, it might be 30 feet in the beginning. And I'm going to use the food to keep him engaged and teach him it is in fact possible to walk past other dogs without trying to interact with them. Um, ben is helping me with Ben and Charlie and we're simply going to do a couple uh, drive-bys in which we pass each other and the dogs do not interact. And this is what we recommend for all dogs and puppies over six months of age. You ready? Okay. Let's go. Good boy, let's go. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. There you go. Good boy. Lorenzo, let's go. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. All right, so Lorenzo has done a very good job with this exercise using food. As always, if I think I can wean a dog off of food for an exercise, I want to do it. So I'm gonna maintain the same distance. If I'm at all worried about it, I would add a foot or two, but I'm gonna maintain the same distance and try again. Once we're done with the exercise, I'm gonna say yes, and then reach into my fanny pack and give you my reward. This time, I'm just gonna to try to use my voice, my enthusiasm, and perhaps my, my hands touching my body to help uh, getting past the other dogs. Lorenzo, are you ready? Let's go. Go, 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 go. Ah! Good boy, very good. I think that. Lorenzo, let's go. Let's go. Good boy. Yeah. Okay. Sit. Sit. Yes, that was really outstanding. Really, really outstanding. Okay, so this the method that we demonstrated now is good for practice. The other method, the turn and go, is probably best for an emergency. So for example, scenario number one, you get out of the car, he's on a leash, you take a few steps, boom, he sees another dog and starts pulling toward. That's the turn and go. Um, this, the drive-by walking is appropriate for um, when you have control over the conditions and when you can manage the selection of dogs. All right, thank you. He's a wonderful puppy. You are a good boy, Lorenzo.